Hi, I'm Larry Black, and today we're looking back. About 20 years ago, I had an idea to get a room filled with country music people, singers, songwriters, put together 30 of them. They love to tell stories. They love to share with each other. And today, they get to share with you. This is Looking Back with Larry Black. Look no further. You found it. Looking Back with Larry Black. What are we looking back at? Oh, just some of the greatest country music ever. Remember little Jimmy Dickens and Jim Ed Brown? Two of the stalwarts of the early days of country music. We got them together for some laugh and giggle time. <laughs> you know, one time, one time we were in Mr. Moeller's office. You remember Mr. Moeller? Yeah, yeah. When he managed an awful lot of talent here in town, and and uh, and I was doing Raggedy Ann on the road, the little recitation with the doll, and and Waylon Jennings was on the show one day, and so he came back in, and we was up and standing around in the lobby one day talking, and he said, Mr. Moeller, don't ever put me back on the show with that man right there. And he said, Why? He said, Who can follow a midget dragging a doll around on the stage? <laughs> Turn, Jim Ed. <laughs> hey, when, when you Can made we the take record, a little short break here, you know. <laughs> when, yeah. when you made the record, Pop Top, I, yeah. I know you do it on the stage. You kind of. How well, did you do that on the record? Let me let me tell you a little story about Pop Top. Nat Stuckey wrote Pop Top. He sent me he sent the, a tape of a bunch of songs of all the NASA tape back then, a bunch of songs to Chet Atkins. And Chet, I was in his office one day, and Chet said, I don't have time to listen to all of these songs. Would you take this home and listen to it and see if you find anything, you know, in there you think is good? So I went and listened, and I found Papa Top. But Nat was doing it the way Papa, the way he did it, and which, but anyway, I went back and told Chet, and Chet picked up the phone and called him, and he said, Chet, you can't do that because that's my next single. Let me tell you something. Have you ever prayed that somebody wouldn't have a hit? <laughs> I did. <laughs> But it was a good song. Anyway, we went in and recorded it. And uh, Felton Jarvis, it was his idea to use the, the pop, you know, mm -hmm. the, the can thing. Yeah. And I, and I, I promise you. I wonder where that idea. I don't know. <laughs> 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 Not that we've ever done that before, you know. But that was back whenever, you know, whenever the cans were first coming out and all of that. You was know? that a real can on the record? That that was a, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What we did, we went out, we did the song, and then he came up with that idea. So we went down to the local little market, and we bought a couple of, we, we, asked, we said, well, we're not going to be able to get it, you know, first three or four times. It's going to take us a few mm, times. Sure. So we <laughs> bought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Coca-Cola. Uh, oh, well, actually, <laughs> but anyway, uh, we got it the first time. They set the microphone up, and, uh, and uh, the engineer had everything set, and the first can. So there was a whole bunch of them went to waste. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, you, ever, you ever had a room full of 30-something people all go pop at one time? No, but let me, tell you, let me tell you something. There's some awfully talented people here. I don't know that I want to sing in front of all of them, you know, and especially follow the Dickens. You, you know? got to. You got to. Jimbo Jenkins was his name. You forgot. Yeah, I forgot. We worked up a little thing about five years ago. I started singing that song, and he said, how did I get in the Hall of Fame? <laughs> well, that wasn't his exact words, but... <laughs> walking down through the airport in Las Vegas, he said, Jimbo Dickens was his name. I said, how did he ever get in the Hall of Fame? <laughs> <laughs> Fellas, if you'll hit me about the key of E or something or another, I'll give you a little bit. Yeah, everybody in here. Everybody ready? <laughs> <laughs> That's a bunch of weak pops. You sound like the brewery blew up. I don't believe, I don't believe it's ever been a hit, boys. Give us a card again. No one in this room's ever popped. Nobody is there. So you just have to give us a. Have to give you a shot. Yeah, we have to. All three. Here we go. Okay. Pop a top again. I've just got time for one more round. Set them up, my friend. And I'll be gone, and you can let some other fool sit down. I'd like for you to listen to a 
joke I heard today from a woman who said she was through and calmly walked away. I tried to smile and did a while, but it fell so out of place. Did you ever hear of a clown with teardrops screaming down his face? Pop a top again. I think I'll have another round. Set him up, my friend. And I'll be gone, and you can let some other fool sit down. On to me is misery, and here I'm wasting time. Cause a roll of fools on a roll of spools is not what's on my mind. But then you see her leaving me is not what I prefer. So it's either here watching Dell or home remembering her. <laughs> here we go. Papa Top. <laughs> I think I'll have another round, another one, my friend. And I'll be gone, and you can let some other fool sit down. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We have more coming just for you. Larry Black, looking back. Remember to remember.